Today is an alert day. We are expecting a couple of rounds of severe thunderstorms, some of which will come through this morning and then a little bit of a break this afternoon before we get another complex of some strong to severe storms coming in later on tonight through Friday morning. The tornado watch has been updated, so the National Weather Service has actually added a few counties further to the east and that does now include Jefferson County uh, over towards St. Clair County, Etowah, Cherokee, uh, down toward uh, Cleburne and also Calhoun County. So roughly north of I-20 now under a tornado watch uh, through 10 a.m. this morning. Here's a look at WVTM 13 live Doppler and you can see we've got some showers off to our south and west here into Green, Perry, Bibb County. So some of this heading over toward Brenton, Centerville. This is not severe. These are just some heavy downpours. You can see some showers here over into parts of Clay County too, but the worst of the weather that we're going to be tracking is up here into parts of 10 to see and now starting to move into North Alabama. A tremendous amount of lightning with this. So even if the storms come through and they are below severe limits, they are going to contain some very frequent thunder and lightning, heavy downpours uh, and gusty winds too, even if they do remain below severe limits. You can see numerous severe thunderstorm warnings ongoing now starting to uh, move into North Alabama and all of that's going to continue to push south. We'll likely start to move into our northern counties, especially especially here into north and northeast Alabama, Coleman, Sneed, Summit, Aniana, over toward Mountain Borough, Keener, uh, into parts of Cherokee County. So for Rock Run and Jamestown, those areas, I think we'll start to see some of the, the worst of the weather moving in close to 6 o'clock this morning. Hazards, damaging wind, isolated tornadoes possible, along with some large hail, heavy downpours, and that frequent thunder and lightning too. I think the worst of it comes through kind of this area off to the north through about 9 a.m. and then between about 6 and midday today uh, for a uh areas kind of closer to Tuscaloosa, Birmingham and over to Anniston. Let me show you the future cast. And again, this is not going to be exact, but it looks like kind of the eastern part of this line may start to move into our counties earlier. Uh, so between six and seven, and then it really starts to get messy as things uh, start to weaken a little bit. Now these storms could still very well be strong, maybe even severe. There'll certainly be some nasty storms with lightning and heavy downpours. This is 10 a.m. And then you'll notice as we get closer to lunchtime and one o'clock this morning, things start to wind down and then not very much activity at all during the afternoon hours. And then we get our second round coming in later on tonight in through the overnight period into Friday morning. Notice this is 3 a.m. on the map and it looks like the worst of this round will likely be I-20 and off to the south and could even be a little bit further south than that. Finally, by Friday morning, we're getting rid of the bad weather and we'll start to see some nicer uh, weather and, and certainly more comfortable heading into the area for Friday and into the weekend. This is the severe weather risk map for later on tonight. You can see the worst of it, that enhanced risk for I-20 onto the south. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. So there may still be some rain around early in the day Friday, but then drier weather and lower humidity too heading into the weekend.